We've talked about the Oblo blades before and how they're increasingly using carbide tips on these things, on the reciprocating saw blades, and actually on other uh, power tool accessories that they have. You hear a lot about carbide, but frankly, I gotta say, uh, I don't really know what that exactly means. So Professor Markham from Tool Barn University, from the faculty there, is here to explain some of this carbide technology, uh, technology to us. So, Professor, what's the deal with carbide? <laughs> So carbide is actually short for tungsten carbide. Um, it's made of equal parts tungsten and carbon atoms. Okay. Um, it starts out as a gray powder and then you can kind of press it into whatever shape you, you need. Mm -hmm. um, so it's used often, because it's so hard, it's used often in uh, blades, um, drill bits. Um, so basically anything with industrial machinery. So uh, the advantage, I'm assuming then, because of its uh, strength, uh, is that it, it holds its edge, uh, it, it retains its sharpness better, it and does. it doesn't break, and you know, yeah. last longer. Um, this actually, the blades stay sharper longer, and uh, Diablo claims that this blade will stay sharp 20 times uh, longer than, say, like a bimetal blade. So, you buy uh, an inexpensive standard reciprocating mm -hmm. saw blade, you can buy 20 of these, mm -hmm. or... One, one of those, those right? Yep, and, and you get about the same amount mm -hmm. of use out of it. Yep, so we also hear a lot about bimetal uh, when it comes to blades or drill bits or those kind of things. What is the uh, story with bimetal? What's that involved? So bimetal is actually two different metals that are fused together. So unlike an alloy where there's two metals mixed together, this mm -hmm. is just two separate metals fused together. So the, the blade has one type of metal, it's called a high speed mm -hmm. metal. And then the body is made of a different metal, usually called a, a spring steel. Mm -hmm. um, that way it stays tough and it doesn't break, but you still have the cutting power with the, the tougher metal on the blades. Is that different than a carbide tip blade? Um, or is it the same it's thing? It's very or? similar. Most carbide blades actually are also bimetal because um, mm -hmm. you can't use carbide on the entire thing or it'll just be too too um, brittle and it'll just break while you're okay. cutting. Right. Uh, but yeah, most of them are actually bimetal as well, but then the addition is the carbide tip, so it makes it even stronger. So that's why these are 20 times stronger mm -hmm. than a bimetal blade. Strength, durability, and I imagine that uh, you know, in the long run you're going to save a little bit by buying better stuff, Oh right? yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we're gonna, we've got a little test here. We've got a carbide tipped concrete uh, drill bit here and we've got a uh, a little project there for you as well. I think we should take a, a shot at these together. You can cut that bolt and I'll drill into the concrete. Okay. And I should probably use the drill for that and you can use the saw for All that. Right, as opposed to good. switching it around, I think it'll work better if we do it. All right. Don't you? <laughs> All right. You ready? Yep. Let's give it a shot here. Very nice. Who all is uh, using this carbide technology on their accessories, their bits and their blades? Um, you know, actually most manufacturers are using the carbide. Um, a lot of them have the bimetal, but they use the carbide as well, so you mm -hmm. kind of have an option there. Um, so Diablo, like we spoke of, they use that. Right. Um, DeWalt, and this goes for both bits and blades, they use it in, in both of those. So yeah, there's sure. a lot of manufacturers that are using them. Um, even, although this is a bimetal blade, mm -hmm. um, MK Morris actually has uh, carbide blades as well. And this is a new brand at Tool Barn, by the way. Yeah. So we're going to have these uh, blades and we'll have them in carbide tips and all those good stuff. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> thank you, Professor. We, we appreciate your expertise. I always thought carbide had something to do with batteries, but you know, <laughs> but it does have a lot to do with things that we use every day or, and that you use on the job. Look, here's the deal. It's really worth your time and your money to investigate just a little bit when you're buying accessories for your power tools. Buy good accessories, buy good bits and blades. You know, why have a really nice tool like this and put a, a piece of junk in it and try to drill with it and wind up throwing about a, you know, a few of these away every day and having to replace them? Bad stuff just takes time, it takes effort, and it's a, it's a safety risk as well. It's better to cut with a sharp blade than a dull one, right? Always. So, if you're looking for quality, check it out on toolbarn.com. Thanks for being with us and we hope you'll join us next time on Barn Banter.